Hello everyone, it's Chris here. Thank you for watching. We're really grateful to have you at Legacy. And I have some good news. I have some news for you this week. This past week we found out that we reached a milestone. That is 2 million views. 2 million people or views. I don't think it's 2 million people because many people do watch more than once. But anyway, we have 2 million Two million views and two million views, man, is two million views. We we very proud of that. And so we're making this video just to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for watching and thank you for those who participated. I want to say again that all of you are welcome. If you have a story to tell, please just contact us. You know the email address now. It's here below me. Uh, just just contact us or through the website at uh, um, legacy conversations.org uh, it's also flashing here below just contact us and even if you think you don't have a story you probably do and you're very welcome everybody is welcome I want to say that and stress that fact um, there are some people who say no this is for special forces this is for the parabets of 3-2 battalion 3-1 you know the fighting units well, the line regiments as, as they called them in the British army not true not true. Look, everybody is welcome here. Yeah? Even if you were a cook or a chef or you're a mechanic or a tiffy or work at the medical corps or whatever, guys, we don't care. Please, come and tell your story for us. It's, it's really not about me or my fellow presenters, or I think as well, really grateful for all of them. They, they played a tremendous role here in the background. I just couldn't carry the burden anymore. And these people uh, stepped up and they're carrying on and they're bringing these episodes to us and creating a vibe. And I'm really proud of them as well. I wish to congratulate everybody who's, who's involved with Legacy. And, you know, it's not everybody you actually see here. I mean, we have our wives in the background. Everybody is involved. And uh, we are grateful for them. Eh? We're really grateful. I started Legacy. I think I said this to you people before, but I'll, I'll explain again once again that I was in Switzerland and I was most unhappy with life, actually. I wasn't happy in Switzerland and I only have to see my Switzerland police state Switzerland video and you will understand why I was so unhappy there. And uh, I was wondering what to do, what, what can I do, how can I keep busy? And then one night I had a dream, uh, like a dream. I was sleeping and the next moment I woke up and I had this idea in my head, go and speak to Balmy. And of course, I wasn't that uh, keen to speak to the army, being from the police myself. And uh, I had to dream again. And it became like something working on me, you know, so I, I just had to do it. And so that's where Legacy started. I called uh, my friend Esvia Fori. And I said, Esvia, you know, you have such a wonderful story in, in Special Forces. You were voted twice, I believe, to be the best operator. Uh, in, in, in in two years uh, they have this voting system between them and I knew something about his life because we knew each other long before we brought the uh, legacy series out and I said we also want to write your book is the best way uh, is to talk about it and whatever you, you talk we, we just put in the book man and that's what we'll do and so we started and I will never forget we were because his kids were, were quite small at that stage he's a single dad <laughs> We had to uh, make sure they'd gone to bed first and then we would start recording them. And so, so it was quite a harsh, harsh affair. And, and, and from there on came France for E because of his beer. And then the rest is just, just you know, RSM James Tate arrived and then uh, all sorts of people arrived. It was Kevin Johnson arrived with Free to Battalion and then the rest of them came as well. And then the Free One guys came, the Parabats came. The, Tankers, you know, 6 1 make all those people. Just fantastic, fantastic. And, and we learn so much, you know. we You can only know that much out of a book. But really, I, I wrote many, many dozens of books, but <laughs> I'll tell you, it's always better to talk to the guy, man, because especially you can ask him questions, you know, this is fantastic. And then we had the famous generals coming, and we had the paratrooper PhDs. Oh, it was just funny. It was just funny. We even had the spies arriving. We had the Navy. We still looking for Navy people. Please don't don't stay. Don't don't show us here. We we actually like the Navy. I have a deep 
the perfection for the Navy because of my late wife. And uh, now we're here today and, and we reached 2 million views. I see that more than half a million um, hours have been watched. And you know, this brings me to the topic which I want to tell you now is I remember coming back from the borders and as a young sergeant and you're unmarried. Well, the colonel knows who's to volunteer you and it's just like Hey, yes, what what rings this in? Thank you, sir. No problem. So we go. And we kept on going. And the problem in the police was as you come back and you walk into into the worst crime you can imagine, as well as terrorism in those days. So we never had the time off. It was actually quite stressful. Uh, the most stressful thing actually was when you get out of that Casper, which you were driving was so much, so much uh, pleasure. And you get into a Ford Sierra XR6 or a Golf GTI. And by the time you eat third gear, you're already doing 140, 150. <laughs> Which is way more than what the Casper could do. Man. Those roads become like this, like a tunnel in front of you, you know. So, so yeah, I, I remember that. But I also remember that no one ever asked me, Chris, um, how was it? What happened? Things like that. No one asked. No one cared. No one cared. In those days, I think up to the late 90s, man, even to wear army boots or short hair was seen as a bit of a naughty thing, you know. But then in the 1990s, of course, all those books came out, which made uh, our service, you know, but we downplayed our service so much, so much. And it bothered me. It really annoyed me. And when I wrote my uh, autobiographies, the Main Street's police series, I... Um, I felt it was the time to do it because the memories were getting lost. And when this dream came and SBF4E and everybody came, as well as my old, my former commander, Colonel Potkitter, all of them came to the, to the party. You know, I realized we're getting at a certain age now and people are dying. And if we don't get this oral history down, uh, what's going to happen? I can tell you what's going to happen because of my legal background. I can tell you now, if if if, if you make a statement and that statement is not uh, denied or taken on as a lie, then your statement is going to stand. So whatever crap they were writing about us, whatever crap they were saying about us and still saying, I got away with it because we didn't stand up and we didn't say, look, you're talking crap. It's not true. This is what really happened. And that is what makes legacy so, so very uh, valuable in my eyes. It is a legacy. You know, it's your legacy. You, you serve to have pride. So now come and tell us about it. So there's an open and standing invitation to everyone. And I can also say to you in the background, there's a lot of things happening where legacy is of, of great value to serving members. Uh, because these lads, and may I say less, is they, they do look at legacy to learn. In other words, there's somewhere out there, a young soldier, doesn't matter from which army, it's more than one, who are actually listening to your story and say to himself, well, I, 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 I hear what this woman has to say, of oh, this Tony, you know what, I can implement this in my own platoon, and that is how we save lives. I recall when I got to my counterinsurgency training, we had a bunch of Rhodesians there, and they were wonderful people, these Rhodesians. The way they spoke of Rikons was, was tremendously... Uh, 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 different. Uh, <laughs> they spoke it in a, in, a, in a funny way, but they spoke it. I have to say that, and they could all speak uh, Shona or Matabele, and of course the English was just fantastic. It was like class, pommy type of English. But they were so good because they trained us. They would say to us things like, guys, you know what? I'm telling you, this and this and this happened to us. Do this, this and this. And suddenly... The world opened, the world opened, and, and we saved lives. We saved so many lives by just listening to these old timers talking. And now we are the old timers, are we not? We get the gray hair, gray beard. We are the old timers now. So I want to say to all of you, thank you. Come and tell your story. If you want to join the, the legacy movement, you're welcome to do so. We're always looking for presenters. We're always looking for people to come and tell their story. If you want to support us financially, we have a Patreon going now. We, we uh, are requesting $5 a month. 
Uh, that five dollars a month that helps because we do have a lot of expenses actually. As you can imagine, we are not funded by any government, we're not funded by any charity, we only have ourselves. And you know, the money which we are getting in from you on Patreon has already helped us to increase uh, Fossey's laptop for us so that he can do better edits. That's what he's doing 99% of the time these days. He's just doing fantastic edits. You will see this week coming when uh, Ox Amazon is coming out. Then you will see great editing in process. And then, of course, we have to pay our Zoom and we have to pay our petrol and we have to pay our air tickets if we ever go there. Uh, if our computers break down, we have to replace it. I, I think I myself, between Rebecca and myself, have spent about a million in the last few years on on legacy, and that does not include my time. If I have to include my time, it, it's a lot more than that. Every hour you see on video, on, on the video here at Legacy has taken us about five hours in the background. Because remember, the guy is contacting us, then we contact him, then we set up a date, then we record, then we edit, then he approves, then we edit again, then we load it up, and only then you can see it. It, it, it's quite a process. You can't really do it uh, quickly. It's, it's just not possible. So anyway, that's my story. I've been speaking a long time, longer than what I wanted to, uh, but I'm really chuffed about the 2 million views. My personal feeling is that uh, we're being shadow banned on, on YouTube, so you better get your act in order and join the Telegram group or find out where the alternative channels are because I don't know if they're going to be on YouTube forever. I doubt it, actually. I would be very surprised. How do I know we're being shadow banned? You know what? In the last few weeks, you can check yourself. A guy will talk. He has about 800 to 1,000 views and not a single comment. Not one comment. Now, I know it's a touchy subject, the comment story, because I do ban people quite easily. But then you have to understand, if, if, if somebody comes and tells his life story here and you want to play the fool way in the background, and you want to make snot comments like you're on Facebook or someplace, not the place for me. I'll, I'll, I'll chase you away. I don't want that kind of crap. I don't want that kind of nonsense. These people are honoring us with their stories. It's important to them. And uh, it's not for you to come and make stupid comments. Really, I, I, I have zero tolerance. Zero tolerance of that. But it does not make sense, I have to say also, that... Um, uh, that there's no comments between before 800 people has watched it. Uh, and then that's how the search engines, of course, work. They, uh, they look for comments and they look for views and then they boost it. It's totally not by chance, you know. <laughs> there's nothing by chance by these, with these people. It, it, it's all, you know, part of the system. But we have to live with that system. So get yourself educated in where you can find us on the uh, on the alternative channels, it's always in all the descriptions. Uh, up to now, we haven't had a single strike or anything from uh, from YouTube. We had a few copyright issues, especially where a band is marching, especially where they're playing the last uh, taps, things like that. You always have these shenanigans, these people jumping onto us, saying we stole the copyright, even though there is no copyright, they're lying. But when they do that and it's a proof, they can run their own silly little ads on the videos and they get the money. That's why they do. And of course, it's to annoy us as well. Um, talking about annoyance, yes, I understand there were quite a few people who were annoyed with us. Uh, certain comments I made regarding the Free One Battalion and Juan Diaz and the plight of the Free One Battalion soldiers as well as the Free Two Ones. It sorted out. I think that um, we spoke about it in the background, and as far as I'm concerned, this is over now. It's not hamper on on the background. I personally consider Wim Diaz to be one of our greatest success stories. Up to now, we've raised 71,000 rands. Uh, they've been uh, people in charge of the committee is arranging for his eyes to be done as well as his house has been rebuilt. You know what? It was just a wonderful motion. In the background also, we had Kevin, Kevin Johnson and the wheelchairs of 3-2 Battalion as with uh, Major Apollo. 
King of Polaris, I call him. And uh, so we did a lot of good as well. And then lastly, I'll say to you, and I've said here, and I've seen a notice, Chris, Polaris cried. And they were crying because it was the first time ever that anybody listened to me. So just being able to speak, just being able to tell your story with friends and people you don't even know, we we'll say to you, man, we respect you, salute. Thank you for that. Thank you for all of you once again. And may we get to three or four million quicker than what we did in the last two years. Until we meet again, God bless.